Hello. I hope that anybody who's watching can see me. I'm obviously not doing the live how I normally do the live, but I hope that you all can see me pretty well. This is my laptop's camera, and I'm just sitting here with my laptop instead of doing the stream from down. I thought that I would do it so that you guys can see my face. Sorry, I get rid of that. Okay, that was just me talking in the other tab. I'm going to go through some Pokemon cards. I'm probably going to open a couple of packs. I'm just going to go until I run out of Pokemon cards on my table. Uh, and uh, unless you guys want to keep going after that, which I'm more than happy to continue the conversation and add more packs to open and cards to look at and stuff. So, um, you know, just going to kind of play it by ear. Uh, but I'm going to go ahead and start out the stream by opening up this pack. Um, it's Fusion Strike. I, it's probably backwards for you guys, which sucks, but I'm sorry, there's not a whole lot I can do about it. Um, I have three Fusion Strike packs left, and I'm gonna open one before going through a book of old Pokemon cards, or a, a page from the book of old Pokemon cards, and then I'll open one in between, and then I'll open one at the end when we're done with the second page that I have out. Um, these two pages are all trainer cards because I realized I have way more trainer cards than I thought that I did. And since this is going to be a little bit of a different stream anyway, I thought that I would go ahead and do that. So I'm going to open a pack here. There's that. And I showed it to you already. I think I had it upside down. There we go. That's what it looks like. Mew is definitely one of my favorite Pokemon out there. Um, I, I don't know why I've always kind of resonated with Mew. Um, partially because I like cats and partially because it's psychic type and the color for psychic type is purple and purple is my favorite color. And so purple cats, you know, it makes sense. Um, okay, I think that we take what, four from the back? One, two, three, four, um, to, so that we see anything that might be rare at the end. So we're gonna start here. We have leaf energy. We have semi-poor, bug catcher, uh, wiggly tusk. What is this? How do you say that? Oh, that's Corsola. That's, uh, what is that? Um, uh, I can't remember what type of Corsola it is. It says Galarian Corsola. That's what it is. If I just read the thing. Quillfish, Volpix, with Chansey, which to me, Chansey has always been kind of a more rare. Um, Zigzagoon, Galarian Zigzagoon, a lot of Galarian. I think that this is like where most of the Galarian uh, Pokemon are in the fusion. Um, spongy gloves, which is our reverse hollow. I don't know if you can see. And let's see what the last one is. Oh, guys, look at that. Look at that. A full art, uh, bolt down VMAX. And I think, I think that I have one of these already. I think the last time I opened up a pack, I got one of these. If that's the case, this isn't, I don't know. The other one that I have has a little bit of a different consistency. You can obviously see, like, that it shines, it sparkles, but that's also kind of like got a grainy consistency to it that you can feel on the card. It's very, very cool. Um, I am going to go ahead and put this in a case and then we'll get to looking at trainer cards. I just wanted to start this stream out with a bang and that was a pretty big bang for me. Uh, I really like that. I'm gonna put this reverse hollow, even though it's common, it's also gonna get a case. It's really just gonna get a soft case right now. We're starting out with an old war point, which I think that I have more than one of, if that's the case. Oh, I do have more than one, but the other one is in Japanese. Uh, and I think the card is actually slightly smaller size. So if I compare it to the other card, like it kind of slips because it's not the same size. It's smaller. Uh, so that's a little odd. Um, and then the one that we had on the other side was Celio's Network. And I'm really sorry that my phone keeps going off. That's just, it just do be how it do be. All right, those are uh, commons and uncommons. I don't know if I have any rares in here. I haven't really looked at these. I kind of just pulled these out of the book because I'm trying to go through the book. Uh, hi, Amy. I see you. Oh, fancy. Yes. I don't know if you saw the new, this one that we pulled. This uh, roll pound, whatever. It's very, very sparkly. That's like, I pulled that out of a pack earlier. Um, all right, so the next uh, trainer that we have is this the reporters, the super, super heck annoying people that you meet in Gen, uh, Gen 3 that like want to battle you all the time. And then they report on the battle and they want to interview you. Yeah, it's them. They're really annoying. That's them. Um, and then we have Fossil Egg. Oop, if I can hold it. Fossil Egg. 
And um, I have been getting prices of all of these as I go through them. So normally what I do is I pull them out of the of one of these on stream and then I will go through after the stream. Sometimes it takes me days to go through whatever we we pick up. Um, and then I'll like put them in a spreadsheet with like how much like they are selling for just to like get an idea. I kind of at the end want to see what the difference is between all of the older cards and all of the newer, newer cards price wise. So that'll be interesting. All right. Counterattack clause, which like any Digimon fans out there, this looks like. The cat Gatomon. This looks like Gatomon's claws. Uh, I think. I think it looks like Gatomon's claws. Like I'm pretty sure that somebody ripped off of somebody there, and I don't know who. So this, I don't know what it is. I think it might be Burnt Tower or like Ecritique Tower or something. But since it's the only one that I have like this, um, and it's in a different language, I don't know what card it is. But I'll I'll find out and eventually price it. But it does have a little bit of a ding on it, but most of these, like, like you can't hardly really see any real issues with that. Um, the centering, it might be off just a fuzz, but there's no whiting on the corners or anything. Like, a lot of these old cards are still in really, really good shape. Um, all right, the next we have, we have Time Shard. Super fun, super fun Time Shard. Uh, and then on the back, we have Maxi. None, neither of these are rare so far. I don't think any of the trainer cards I've pulled out of here are rare. I think that we might have hit all the rare trainer cards at the very beginning when I was pulling trainer cards out, like back months or weeks ago when I was doing streams before. So it could be that we don't have any rare ones left, but that's part of the reason I wanted to go through trainer cards is because I have so many trainer cards. And if I went through just one of each type uh, doing this whole book, at the end, I would just be left literally with two or three just whole pages of trainer cards. So that's why we're just going to go through all the trainer cards this time. Are they making double-sided Pokemon cards? It's not so much. Oh, they're not double-sided. I pull them out like that because um, they're in a case like this. So there's, I don't know if you can see. So there's one card on that side and then one card on that side. And I just pull the two out of, out of the one pocket because that's what I did when I was a kid was I just shoved a whole bunch of them into one pocket. Um, here's, I actually pulled up three different ones this time. So this one in the front is the old rod, very old card, still looking good, but it's common card and does not help you very much. This card is uncommon. Rocket's hideout. Cool card. I love all these old cards. And this one, I don't know. This is, I guess, from Ruby and Sapphire. Uh, you get that reversal. Don't really know much about it. Uh, next one that we have is High Pressure System. Super fun. Super fun. Um, again, no rare cards yet. Uh, this other one, a lot of these to me seem like they're not printed quite right. Like maybe it's just me, but this one seems like it's almost printed just a little slanted. I don't know. I can't really tell just by looking at it. But there's a switch switch card. All right, I'm gonna have, there's three more rows or three more on the bottom row here. I know you guys already saw one of them because I was showing Amy there, but there's the, what is that, double full heal, which is interesting to me. Like there's no double full heal in the game, but whatever. That card is from 2003. So it's been sitting in this for almost 20 years. It'll be 20 years next year, which it won't make it to 20 years because it's already pulled out, but there's, or a uh, fossil, crawl fossils, that is called claw fossil. I have, I have to read it backwards on the screen. So there's our claw fossil. So far, again, these are commons and uncommons. It looks like all these will be, I think that maybe some on the other page might be rare, but we'll get there. Super potion. And on the other side, we have our lumberry. Not really sure. I don't remember if lumberries were in the games or not. I was always more of a game person, but I didn't really play any of the games. Um, like after gen three all of the generations that i played were gen three and before pretty much until legends rcs and then i've been playing legends rcs like nobody business. bill mail from bill and now we have our hyper devolution spray cool cards love seeing these love looking at the dates 95 to 2001 so that probably means that this is a 2001 card because uh, they started at 95 all right we have one of these empty now you can see how old it is. Like, it's got, like, stains on it and, like, yeah, a bunch of stuff. 
So I'm also replacing all of those. And I got a new folder because my old folder was falling apart. And I'm going to put all of them in the new folder. This is a Genesect pack. Fusion Strike. I kind of like these Fusion Strike ones. Okay. Uh, a Pokemon pack. One, two, three, four from the back. So that our last one is our super rare. All right. We'll start with energy. That's our electric energy. What is this? Dreadnought. I don't know anything about that Pokemon. Sorry, I just didn't play these generations of games. I don't know. Uh, Sl Sligu. I know what Sligu is, but it's, it's in Legends Arceus. Um, who is this? Shauna. I think that Shauna might have been one of the Gen 4? I can't remember. Or not Gen 3. It must have been at least Gen 4 or 5 uh, rivals or whatever that you meet. Jigglypuff. Um, what is this? Durant. It's so hard to read backwards. Like, if I don't recognize the Pokemon like through the reflection, then I have to, like, turn it around and read it. There's Durant. Um, Pansir. There's this one. Oh, this is another Corsola. That's still, it catches me, like, off guard because I'm not used to Corsola being, like, ghosty looking. Um, but that's, you know, the reality. Bow Toy. A reverse hollow is this guy, the cook. And I wonder what we're going to get for our rare. Azumarill. Not hollow. That's okay. I uh, didn't like the Genesect packs anyway. Uh, I like the Mew packs better anyway. Because Mew is like basically my favorite Pokemon. If anybody wants to buy me a life-size Mew plushie, I'm definitely not going to argue with them. Because all of my plushies need more company, obviously. I have Psyduck. I have Meowth way over there. I have, uh, let's see, this one here is actually a, like, not real Pokemon. Um, and there's Poliwag, obviously, but this not real Pokemon came from Loxton and Noggin. He's a Poketuber that I watch. We have Rowlet right here. And then um, I, you can barely see them behind the boxes, but there's Umbreon and two Espeons right here. I also have a Mimikyu over here, but the light's kind of in the way. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and put these rares in cases. The non hollow rare is just going to get a soft case for right now. So there's that. And then the, well, I guess they're both going to get a soft case because this is a reverse hollow uncommon. And I always put all the uncommons in soft cases anyway. Or, or not all the uncommons, but all of the hollows, the reverse hollows, and hollows even if they're common, they get cases. So I, I'm just trying to take better care of my stuff. Like this, these have been in this like huge huge folder for 20 years like they deserve some tlc after all this time all right going through another page i like azumarill I mean, yeah, azumarill is a pretty cool pokemon all right uh we're starting out with energy removal uncommon uh interesting card i guess the one on the other side is shiny what is this we have the team aqua belt very shiny uh it's an uncommon but it's still gonna get a soft case I have a whole box of cases here. I just want to put this in perspective for you guys. Like, I know this is the box of where I keep all of these cases that I put the cards in. So this stack right here is a stack of, just a stack of cases. This is a different kind of, of case. Um, I don't know. It doesn't really matter what the difference is. But these, these ones have, like, this little thing on the top. This with the logo on it. Um, and I don't like that. So I also have a bunch that don't have the logo on it. Um, either way, so I've gone through an entire box of these. So this box, I think, is let's see, 50 card, 50 per pack, and I think there's 200. Yeah, so this was a 200 pack, and I've gone through an entire box of 200 of hard cases, and like a, at least that many soft cases and more because all of the like the rares that are not hollow, like well, I guess those get hard cases, but all of the non rare like hollows and reverse hollows all get a soft case on top of everything else so i've gone through probably a thousand of the soft cases just these little ones here and a minimum two maybe 400 of the hard cases which like that's not even a fraction of the number of cards i have so just to put that in perspective all right here's our power charge um <clears throat> so far no rares in these but that's okay and the team, what is that? Shimmer? Schemer. Schemer. Oh, I'm dyslexic. 
Uh, let's see. The next one that we've got is our energy restore, which I always think this is a pretty card. This is probably one of my favorite dinner cards as far as the art goes. Uh, I just think it's really pretty. And the other side, we had a Team Magma belt. I always got a lot of these packs that have like the Team Magma and Aqua and Team Rocket and all those. I remember when they had just like the Team Rocket cards and they had a little cool R in the corner, or whatever. Uh, all right, this one is actually a rare. The second edition of Pokemon Trader. I'm going to get a soft case now and then a hard case later as well. And our darkness cube, I think. Oh, hello, uh, LS. Is it he quote? He quote? Don't know if that's how we say it, but hello. Um, all right, so this guy is in a case. I'm going to go ahead and just put him in a hard case because he's going to end up in a hard case anyway. And this is and this is in pretty good shape, like for being as old as it is. There's some whiting, whiting on the corners, but it's not bad. I would say this is close to near mint if, you know, if we're going by like their, uh, their like qualifications or whatever they call it near mint. There's like mint and then near mint and then like excellent condition, good condition, fair condition, poor condition, damaged. Like there's all this tier and this is uh, close to like what I would say is a near mint, even though it's not hollow, I'm still gonna put it in a hard case. Um, hello, P quote, hola, since we're speaking Spanish. Boop. All right, scoop up on this side. And over here we have a team aqua schemer, a team magma schemer, and now we have a team aqua schemer. Uh, it's kind of fitting that I put those right next to each other in here. All right, we have another hollow on this side, a reverse hollow. Let's see, what is this? Psychic Cube 01. So it's going to get a soft case right now. And we have the last, last from forever ago here. This was part of the original base set. This is rare. Uh, looks like it was made in 98. So I'm going to go ahead and put both of these in soft cases and also put the last in a hard case because, again, trying to keep. Uh, Take good care of my old Pokemon cards. <laughs> okay, we have our Team Aqua Ball, which wouldn't that have been cool if they put those in the games? Like, I think it would be super cool if they remade the Pokemon games and made it so you could become a part of the evil organization and get your own type of balls. Like, this could work similar to, like, a Great Ball. Like, it doesn't even have to be super... Like, it doesn't have to be an Ultra Ball or anything. It could just be slightly better than a Pokeball. But, like, you could never go to the Pokemon League or something. Like, you would have to leave the organization to go to the Pokemon League. Like, I just think it'd be really cool if they made a game like that where you had an option to join, like, Team Magma and, or Team Aqua and become, like... You could get fancy clothes and your Pokemon could, like, dress up. And if you didn't steal a certain number of Pokemon in a certain amount of time, then like you would be kicked out or something. And like, that would be a good way to leave the organization. If you did want to like go complete the main part of the game is like, just not steal Pokemon. Don't meet your quota or whatever. I don't know. I think that'd be a really cool idea for a Pokemon game. So if anyone from Pokemon happens to be watching and wants to, you know, like, take this idea and run with it. I'll pay for that game. I won't pay to make it, but I'll pay to buy it. Anyway, so we have Wally's training on the other side. Um, neither of these being rares or hollows, so they're going to go in the pile. We have two more uh, pockets to pull out of, and then uh, I'll go through the last sad story and open the last pack, unless you guys want to stick around and watch some more. I have a whole freaking book of Pokemon cards over there, and I also got some new, like, Pokemon card stuff that I've been waiting for a stream to open. They're still, like, in their delivery packages, so uh, start letting me know now if you guys are, like, interested in sticking around a little longer. Mm. Thirsty. So we have uh, this Le Levente. Levante. I'm not really sure what this card's supposed to be because, again, I am an illiterate American who does not understand other languages, but there's a card. It, uh, it is rare, so it's going to go in a case. I don't know anything about it. I'll find out, but... All right, and we also have the Team Aqua Technical Machine one. See? Again. Again. Like, you could make a Pokemon game where you can get your own TMs from Team Aqua. Like, okay, so what is this? It's the, it looks like it's Miracle is the name of the um, the name of the move of the TM. 
and choose one special condition and the defending Pokemon is now affected. Like, that would be super cool in a game, right? Like, if you joined Team Aqua and you got this special TM and your Pokemon is the only Pokemon of that type that, like, you can ever get that has that move or something. Like, I just think that'd be such a cool idea. Like, Nintendo needs to take their own ideas and run with them. Like, I get that, you know, we're always the protagonist in every game, but, like, maybe give us the option to not be the protagonist for a little while. Because, like, I would have fun with that game. I would have fun trying to steal other people's Pokemon and be a bad guy for once and get my own special TMs. Like, shoot. All right, last one from here, and then we'll talk about the last snake. And then we'll open another pack. <clears throat> and again, let me know if you guys want to stick around for a little while. Uh, and if you do, then I will continue to uh, open up new things, new Pokemon things that I got. All right, so we have Energy Search. Cool card. I like that. Anything that has, like, the energies just, like, floating as a ball, I think that those look really, really cool. I don't know why. Because, like... Who knows what an energy looks like? Apparently, that's what an energy looks like. And another Team Aqua card, a Team Aqua's hideout, which also looks really cool. Like, you could have your own hideout if you had a game where you could be a part of Team Aqua or Team Magma or any of these other teams. So this is the last Fusion Strike pack that I have. Um, I will likely not purchase any more Fusion Strike packs. Uh, I bought these. This was actually in, I don't know if you can see it back there, but like right back, back there. Behind this silver box is a Mew trainer box. And this came in it, this with all the other packs that I've opened. Now, I don't know if you can also see, right here I have a Pikachu one. And then right here I have an Eevee evolution one. And down here's another Pikachu one that I didn't mean to buy. I only meant to buy one. So those will all be opened on stream at some point as well. But none of them are Fusion Strike. This is probably the last fusion strike one that i'll do so it's Mew, and i'm hoping that we get something good but if not that's fine last chance to tell me if you guys want to stick around longer than this uh i am down if anybody else is down and if not that's also fine um, i have plenty of cards to sort through after the stream ends now all right so it is four from the back one two three four okay we're starting out with our psychic energy. And what is this? Fusion Strike energy. This card can only be attached to a Fusion Strike Pokemon. Interesting. If it's attached to anything other than a Fusion Strike Pokemon, the card is this card is to be discarded. Interesting. Uh, as long as this card is attached to a Pokemon, it provides every type of energy, but provides only one at a time. Very cool card. I wish I had that when I was playing the Pokemon card game a lot. All right, what do we have here? What? Uh, I have no idea what this is. Tortinator, I guess. Tortinator. And this is apparently, uh, I don't know if any old school people recognize this symbol. Because I didn't. I thought this was just a new color for the grass type. But it's not. It's a poison type, I think. Pretty sure. Is it gloomy? Maybe it's dragon? I don't know. Because I, I just want to say the gloomy is dragon and not. It's like dragon and steel or something. Uh, I don't know. Very confusing. But regardless, uh, that's a new type. I, I guess it's dragon. It does look like a dragon on the type. So probably it's dragon. But I thought it was poison. Because, like, why would you make dragon this, like, poison green color? Whatever. Not my chair, not my problem. Okay, the next one. I don't know. You can pronounce that, right? Piyuku uh, Piyuku Muku or something like that. Whatever. Moving on. Fancier. Maybe. Holding the cards wrong. Uh, Minin. Couldn't see it. Bell toy. We have another Corsola. Anybody want a Corsola? Because I got plenty. I got plenty of undead Corsola cards. Quillfish. Cool Hold on. Excuse me. So we have Quillfish. And this is our reverse hollow. Cute. One of my favorite, like, Pikachu clones. And last but not least, guys. Oh, man. Corviknight. Non-hollow. 
Should have just swapped to the Mew packs, shouldn't I? Oh, well. All right. That is all of those cards that I have for now, unless anybody else wants me to open some of the new cards that I recently got for myself. I kind of splurged and bought a little bit. So I'll wait for the chat to kind of catch up. Uh, let me know if you guys are going to stick around. I need more water. The air in here is so dry. It is not good for my asthma. I had a real bad asthma day today. <clears throat> Excuse me. Well, there is still five people watching. Even though I don't see you guys in the chat, I know a lot of people will keep this on kind of in the background while they're doing other stuff. So even though uh, nobody's really talking, I'm going to do what I want. And I'm really excited to open some of these new Pokemon things. So um, I'm going to go just grab them because they are right here. In this, this little pile. Going to try to make it so you can't see my address. This is something that I bought from a friend of mine, Rachel Derby. And she does her own like crystal selling stuff. She sells crystals. Excuse me. Is a little Eevee. Is a little crystal Eevee. I'm trying to get my camera to focus on it. Look at how cute that is. I don't know where to put it. That's my biggest issue right now is I have it and it's so cute. But I don't know where to put it. Oh, well, I'll find out. Eevee is one of my favorite Pokemon. It's becoming more and more my favorite. I used to think that it was just like kind of a weird gimmick and like kind of dumb. But now I'm like... I really like it. It's very cute. It was the last Eevee, though, unfortunately, that she had. I think I am going to ask her, though, if she has more Eevee. I, it might be Opalite. You know more about, more about that than I do. It's more see-through than the camera kind of shows, but oh well. Eevee is baby. Okay, so I have three envelopes with special cards in them. Does anyone want to guess? What cards are in these envelopes? Just just take a guess while I figure out how to open it. Because it's not. This is a really weird like way to seal an envelope. I'm very excited. I I they were cheap, but I felt attached to them. You think it's gonna be Mew, Gengar, and Pikachu? You got one right. One of those three. All right, first one. Da -da -da -da. <laughs> Of course, a hollow Mew. And I have just been wanting to have a collection of Mew cards since Mew is my favorite Pokemon. And I just like I think that's a card. I don't know if you can see the Mew looks so cute. Sitting on the you know, sunbathing. Very cute, very cute. And I also already have a case for it. It's already in a case. So I don't have to put it in a case. It's already in one. Here's the next one. Take a guess. Take a guess as to what the second one is. Opening it up. Obviously, you guys are watching. You know what I'm doing. It's already in a case. All these are already in cases, so I don't have to play any cases. <clears throat> Excuse me. What in the heck? I think that, like, the envelope stuck to this thing. It's a good thing that it's in a case. It's, they put tape on it. They put freaking tape on it, guys. Why would you do that? Why? Anyway... Mew number two, <laughs> because I'm obsessed. Look at how pretty that is, though. I just love that. I love that card. He was so happy. And there's a little Pikachu in the corner. I think this was from the 25th anniversary Pokemon, which I think was last year, maybe? Taking the tape off of this. I understand the sentiment, but in execution, not so great. Okay, there's one more of these. Again, points for anybody who gets it right. Anybody who guesses right. Because I'm sure that you already know. I'm sure that uh, it's not that hard to, find, to figure it out. Because I'm predictable and I tend to obsess over things. So, duh. Oh man, this one's packed all nice. Let's see if we can slide that out of there. Upside down. Another Mew card. I just am so excited to get these. Look how cool that is. I don't know. It's so cute. It's just so cute. Mew is definitely one of my favorites. This is a reverse hollow. Uh, I don't know if they have a, they might have a hollow version of this, but I got the reverse hollow, obviously. 
So there's that. Very excited. I really want like one of my one of my like goals in life at this point is to get like a shiny Mew card, but I want to get it legitimately. I don't want to go buy a shiny Mew card. I want to be looking through packs and just like get one. Even though like I think shiny Mew looks kind of weird because it isn't like a green blue color. Uh, regardless. Okay, I'm going to open these two. They are basically the same thing also. Um, yeah, it is a lot of Mews. I like, I like Mew. It's just, it's my favorite book. So I'm like, well, I'm going to get all the Mew stuff that I really want, which is why I started out with that Mew, the, the Fusion Strike box with the Mew. These, I'm not going to like open, open tonight, but I wanted to get some chili rain. So there's only one here and there's one in here. I got an Amazon gift card uh, from somebody and it was only for like 10 bucks. So I was like, I'm going to spend my Amazon gift card on chilling rain packs because they had them in stock. So um, that is the Zapdos. Let's see what we got in this one. Ooh, what a Moltres. Very nice. So we'll be opening Zapdos and Moltres on a different stream. I'm looking very forward to that. Um, I'm not looking to like complete a, uh, you know, a, a collection really. The only thing, the only collection I might consider trying to complete is a Mew, like all of the Mew cards. But um, I just want like some cards from each type of card that came out. So obviously there's Chilling Rain, there's Fusion Strike, but there's the base set, the base set two, the Ruby and Sapphire, the Fire Red, Leaf Green. Um, I mean, like they have all these different like sets that came out and I just want at least one pack from each set. And I have obviously everything through like fire red leaf green that I care about. Uh, and then obviously Fusion Strike and now Chilling Rain. And I will have like once I open these, I'll have the Evolutions, which is right here. And I'll have the 25th anniversary ones, which are right here um, as soon as I get those open. But uh yeah, I'm not trying to complete collections. I just want to have at least like some like a pack from each uh, from each thing that they tried to sell. Um, it says my connection is unstable, and it's also been over 40 minutes, so I'm probably gonna go and end the stream. But I really appreciate you guys being here. That was all the things that I had to open, and I will see you all uh, in the next video.